What is cracking guys? In this one I'm going to be upgrading my standard ventilator air cleaner on my Softail Street Bob for the Extreme Flow Ventilator Air Cleaner Kit. And what that consists of is just a new air filter element which is more open and allows more air to flow into the intake. And to mount this new air filter element you have to purchase the Extreme Flow Ventilator Air Cleaner cover to mount it onto the backing plate. So what I'm going to do is just dismantle this air cleaner and also whilst I've got this dismantled I'm going to do an external breather mod. So I'll explain to you why you might want to do an external breather mod once I get into it. So let's get to it. So I forgot to mention that when you purchase these air filter elements they come in a pink coloration and the reason why they come in pink is because K&N, the manufacturer of these air filter elements, sprays a pink coloured air filter oil onto the air filter. So I don't like that look so what I did was just use this air filter cleaner, got all that pink air filter oil out and I'm going to be applying this black air filter oil just because my bike's all blacked out and the pink sticks out like a sore thumb so the frustrating thing with the black air filter oil from K&N is it doesn't come in a spray bottle like the pink stuff does but how you apply this stuff is you just pop that little lid up and then run it over each pleat individually and you'll allow the oil to soak in let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes go back and then just touch up any areas which didn't get sufficient oil and this is going to be tedious as all hell but in my opinion it'll be worth it as I can't stand that pink coloration that they come out with it is messy shit and as you can see it hasn't quite dissolved all the way through all of those pleats but if you just sit it for 15 minutes then it will. Alrighty so now to dismantle the stock ventilator air cleaner. So what you can see here are two breather bolts which go through the backing plate of the air cleaner and directly into both heads of the engine. So what these breather bolts do is release any excess oil pressure in the heads of the engine. And Harley Davidson runs that oil pressure builder back into your air cleaner through these breather tubes here. So essentially your intake is sucking hot oily mist and that's going directly into your engine and then your engine has to burn that hot oily mist. So I've done a bit of research and have had a look at countless forums and also some videos on YouTube. And by all accounts, that hot oily mist going back into your intake isn't a great thing. I've seen uh, one fella do a video on YouTube stating that the top of his pistons had excessive carbon buildup, which wasn't good obviously for the longevity of his engine and the performance of his engine. So what I'm gonna do is just install these vacuum hoses which are a quarter inch in a diameter and I'm going to drill holes on both sides of the backing plate. I'm going to run the hose straight through and they're going to connect at the back of the plate by a T connector and then into a catch can which is going to sit underneath the air cleaner. So let's get to it. Alrighty, now to install some rubber grommets. Now to whack on the new gasket. Thank you. 
and you can pull the hoses through. Turn it out there. So the sizing of that little T connector is a quarter inch by a quarter inch by three eighths of an inch. So obviously the hose which goes into the catch can is going to be three eighths of an inch. So what I'll be running to catch all this oil blow by is this DK Customs catch cam and I wanted to run it directly underneath the air cleaner but as you can see there's not enough room as it hits the push rods there and I really don't want to scuff up the catch cam. It's a nice little piece, it'll be a pity if I get it all scratched up. So what I plan on doing is just buying a cheap bracket off eBay and I'll mount it to the timing cover just there onto one of those bolts so it'll just sit there nice and neat uh, in between the exhaust and yes I'm sure there's going to be people out there saying if you whack it in between your exhaust it's going to be a bugger to check when your exhaust is hot but this is a thing which you don't need to check regularly so whilst I'm waiting on that bracket to arrive for the catch can I'll be running this little pod filter here and I'll probably run it just directly underneath the frame I'm not going to have it on the bike for long as I don't plan on waiting a hell of a long time for that bracket to arrive, maybe two weeks or so, but who knows, with this whole COVID bullshit, it might take a lot longer for shipping. So now I'm going to attach this 3 8 inner diameter hose onto that 3 8 T connector fitting there, and then I'm just going to connect the pod filter onto the end of this and run this line along my oil pressure line there so I can zip tie it so it doesn't move and wobble about and then I'll just mount it low at the front of the bike. So I'm just gonna attach this little hose clamp. Alrighty, so I'm gonna mount my pod filter just below here and I'll probably set it up so you can't see it. And now I'm just gonna cut the hose here. It's always better to cut it a bit longer than what you need. Beautiful. Alright guys, so that's the external breather mod done and dusted on my Softail Street Bob. Well, mostly done and dusted. As I said, I do want to change out that pod filter for that catch can, but I'm just waiting on that bracket. And I didn't want to have to wait two weeks to be able to ride my bike, just waiting on a bracket. Another thing I will raise is that I'm sure there's going to be people out there saying that that pod filter is in a terrible position. If it fills up with oil, then the oil is going to drip onto your back wheel and that can cause all kinds of problems. Yes, I'm aware of that. But as I said, it is a temporary fix and it's not gonna get so saturated with oil in two weeks of riding that I'm gonna have oil going all over my back tire. Another thing I will say is you might be thinking if that mod is entirely necessary, why doesn't Harley Davidson do it from the factory? And the reason why Harley doesn't do it from the factory is because they're governed by EPA regulations stating that they can't vent emissions into the atmosphere. And if they were to do so, then they'd probably find themselves getting sued. Oh, a dinosaur toy. I'm not telling you that it is a must and that you have to do it to your bike, but I am showing you the reasons why I'm doing it to my bike. Don't take my word for it. Get out there, do some research, get on some forums, and you might discover that it is a mod that you want to do to your bike. As I said, the whole reason why I wanted to do it is because I don't want all that hot, oily mist going into my intake and then building up carbon on top of my pistons and affecting the performance. Anyway, you've heard me rambling on enough, so that's gonna do it for this one. As always, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.